welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and this is Plant Dust Woman and today we are going to be doing a thrift haul plant edition per usual. Today's haul, <laughs> some of these things I've had for almost a month so I'm sorry in advance you have probably seen all of these things either in a video or on Instagram so my bad. Typically I like to do these hauls before I showcase them all over my social media but... I didn't so sorry um, I still think it's a good video to do and I wanted to film these things and talk about them and give them the time that they deserve so we're gonna talk about each item and then maybe I'll give you a little fancy montage and show you how I style them we'll see <laughs> if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe for future content it really helps me out and I appreciate it love you guys let's get into this video <laughs> Okay, to get started, when I go into a thrift store, especially looking for plant items, I am sticking to the wicker section or the pot brass section. Um, my color palette is really neutral with styling, so it's either wicker, brass, or wood, glass, neutral tones. That's my vibe. So I've got some brass items here, I've got some wicker items here, but let's start with the two items that are neither shocking, I know. Um, the first one is this little wooden um, little pedestal. I don't even know what you would call this little stand. Um, this was $3.99. And as I am holding it in my hand, it could use a good wash. I thought I wiped it down, but <laughs> nay, nay, I did not. Um, but this thing I thought was just really cute and pretty. And if you guys are like me and you have a shit ton of plants, sorry, <laughs> nailing it, breaking it. If you guys have a lot of plants like me, you know, I have this little countertop in front of me that I fill with plants, but when you have 10 to 15 plants on one surface and they're all one level it's hard for them to a get light and b to showcase them properly so getting items like this that you can put behind plants that way you can elevate a plant and then have plants in front of it these things are crucial for me so anytime i see something that i can elevate a plant especially just a little bit not a lot just a little bit i definitely go for it and for three dollars i thought this was really really cute um next on the non-wicker non-brass train let me set that down is this little milk glass goblet. <laughs> I don't even know what to call this. It looks like, I don't know, like a cup. I'm not sure. So it had a $3.99 um, sticker on it, but then on the back it had a dollar and they gave it to me for a dollar. So thanks, Goodwill. Love you long time. Um, so yeah, this was a dollar. I think it's just really cute. Again, it gives it a little bit of height, not a lot, but a little bit. And I think it just kind of elevates a plant. I think this is really pretty and vintage and again neutral so it goes with my vibe but it gives something a little different other than wicker and brass. You know I can't just have everything as much as I <laughs> as much as I want to have everything wicker or brass. I do like to add in things that are not. Shocking I know. Um, but I think this was really really cute and milk glass is it's a vibe. I think it's adorable. So let's see. Wicker or brass guys. Let's go brass. So the first brass item that I got, this one's more gold. It's not, I typically stick to more brass tone gold, um, but this one was $2.99 and it is just a little gold pot, catch pot, cover pot. It has no hole in it. It actually is from Trader Joe's. <laughs> That's funny. Trader Joe's succulent garden, it says. So I bet some of you guys have this, but I definitely thought it was nice. I always pick up these size specifically. They're like three or four inch pots that I can um, put my uh, nursery pots into. Sorry, I couldn't think there, but I think this is really cute. The next thing that I got, sorry, so loud, is <laughs> this little brass pot. It honestly looks like a little like spittoon or something. It's kind of, I don't know. I think it's adorable. It was $2.99 and I love the little rope detailing that it has on it. I think it's just so cute. And this is like a three inch, four inch pot. So the bottom says made in India. I think it is adorable. And the last one that I got is this little long planter. This one was $2.99 and it's kind of like gross inside, but that's okay because I'm just going to be putting nursery pots in here that are going to be draining water all up in it anyways. 
but I loved the shape of this one. I like, look, I'm echoing. <laughs> I like that it's long and I can put multiple plants in this and I thought $2.99 was such a great deal. Love it. Okay, moving on to wicker. Oh wait, one more, one more. Wow, <laughs> I almost forgot the best one. <laughs> so <laughs> this is so cute and I don't even know what to call it, but this was the most expensive thing that I got, but totally worth it because I think this is just so beautiful. This was $14, which this anywhere else would have been more than $14, so I'm fine with spending it. And if I really love a piece, I'm getting it. So it is, I don't even know what you would say this is, but it's brass and beautiful. And honestly, I might leave it as is and just put it like in front of my fireplace. This is just a cute decor piece, but pop that lid off and throw a plant inside and you have a really, really cute pot. Okay, moving on to the wicker items. The first one that I got is, it's like a little wine bottle holder, I guess. <laughs> this was $2.99 and I just thought it was so cute. Again, love wicker. This is a little bit darker in brown than most of my other wicker is, but I don't mind that because I think it just adds you know, some variation when you've got everything one color. So I like it. And I actually use this to put little terracotta pots in each one. And I've been using it to hold my propagations that I've recently potted up. So $2.99, so cute. Again, not for plants, but it could be. So always, you know, think outside of the box. I also think this would be really cute to like hang string from and hang it like a hanging uh, basket and put like little pothos in it so they can hang out. That would be really cute too. Um, next, I'm just throwing those on the, f on the ground, if you, if you heard me. Next, I got these two baskets. I got these from the same Goodwill. I'm dropping them. Boop. I think they're so cute. And these were a dollar a piece. And I just use these as cover pots for bigger plants in their nursery pots. A dollar a piece. Adorable. Love them. And, okay, last two. This one is just a little basket. Again, this is kind of different toned than I normally get, but I love mixing wood tones. So this one was a dollar, cute. I use it just with my Hoya right now, but you could totally lift this up and let your Hoya trellis up this handle. So if you ever see baskets with a handle, built-in trellis, works like a charm. And the last item that I got is this really large wicker basket. And if you have seen my burl marks, I flip this upside down and use it as a plant stand. So that's another thing that you guys can think of. If you're getting bigger baskets like this, you don't have to use it as a cover pot. You can use it as a plant stand, which I do all the time. Let me show you how I styled these things. 